Hello, second grade. Welcome. Well, it is Thursday the 16th. So just a couple of reminders. Today is show and tell. So be ready if you want to. Uh, there's no theme. So go ahead and bring something uh, for show and tell and just be ready to kind of present about it, which you guys did an awesome job last week. Also, today is sports day, last day of spirit week and last day of our Learn at Home Oregon week on Thursday. So um, my favorite team is the Portland uh, trailblazers. I used to go to a lot of games when I lived in Portland, but you can wear a shirt or a hat or anything with your favorite sports team today um, and show some school spirit. Uh, great job again, guys. I'm really, really um, proud of you. I was going to go to the landing page and show you guys a couple things. Let's see. Um, or just tell you also. Um, so yeah, great, great, Great job on Read to Self today, guys. I was super proud of you. I'm sorry, Epic is only available from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., but you should have also gotten that login to literacy footprints, and that is a fun one, which is available to you all the time, even on the weekends. All right, well, the book I have for you today is Watermelon Madness. So it's by uh, Tigrid Najjar and illustrated by Maya Fadawi. Nor is a little girl who loves to eat watermelon. She eats a watermelon in the morning. She eats a watermelon in the afternoon. She eats watermelon in the evening. One day, Nora sat down to eat with her family. Mama scooped molokahai with chicken and rice onto Nora's plate. But Nora turned up her nose. I don't like molokahai. I don't like chicken. I only want watermelon. Chicken is good for you, Nora, Baba insisted. And molokahai is yummy. Nora roared, watermelon, I only want watermelon. Mama was angry and said firmly, first eat your molokahai, then you can have watermelon. That evening, Nora snuck into the kitchen and saw a big watermelon sitting on the table. She stood there for a moment and thought, yum, that is a very big watermelon and I wanna eat it all by myself. Nora took the watermelon and rolled it under her bed so that she could eat it after everyone had gone to sleep. She fell asleep thinking about the big watermelon under her bed. In the middle of the night, Nora felt her bed shaking. She opened her eyes and saw the watermelon growing bigger and bigger and bigger. It got so big that her bed almost touched the ceiling. Nora slid down the watermelon. Wee, wee, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This whole watermelon is all for me. Nora walked around the watermelon and found a door on its side. She opened the door and went inside the watermelon. She walked down a long hallway until she reached a bright pink room. Inside were a table and chair made out of watermelon seeds. Nora sat at the table. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. The whole watermelon is all for me. Nora ate her first piece of watermelon. Yum, this, is, this watermelon is so delicious. I want more. And another piece of watermelon appeared right in front of her. Nora kept eating and eating and eating. She kept saying, I want more, I want more, I want more. The moment she finished a piece of watermelon, another piece would appear in its place. Nora, or suddenly, Nora stopped eating. She felt herself getting bigger and bigger as the watermelon got smaller and smaller. Nora grabbed her belly and cried, ow, 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 my tummy hurts. I don't want any more. I don't want any more. Nora opened her eyes and found Mama sitting next to her and patting her. What's wrong, Nora? What's the matter? There was a giant watermelon under my bed and I ate so much of it. I felt like it swallowed me. Mama took the watermelon out from under Nora's bed. Who put this watermelon under your bed, Nora? Nora felt embarrassed. I did. I'm sorry, Mama. I wanted to eat the whole watermelon all by myself, but I started getting bigger and bigger as the watermelon got smaller and smaller. Mama smiled. Go back to sleep now, Nora. We'll talk about the magic watermelon tomorrow. Nora turned over in her bed and fell asleep right away. The next morning at breakfast, Nora ate her fried egg and za'atar with olive oil and drank all her milk. The end. <laughs> Fun facts for watermelon lovers. This is kind of interesting. Watermelons originally came from Africa. I did not know that. They are related to cucumbers. The rind and the seeds can be eaten, and some varieties have yellow flesh. And then this is kind of interesting. So some background about molokahai, it refers to a plant and a traditional Middle Eastern dish whose core ingredient is the leaves of the molokahai, and it's turned into a thick broth or stew. 
and cooked with meat. And zatar is a, a condiment made of dried herbs, spices, and seeds, including thyme and oregano. It's eaten with bread and olive oil and also seasoning for meats and vegetables. Lots of interesting stuff in that book. Um, so of course, you guys get some points. If you can, if you ever have a quiz game at the end, you should always do it. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to hit finish books. So you do get points for that. So that's pretty awesome. OK, guys, have a great morning. And I will see you at show and tell for morning meeting. Take care. Bye.